What a beautiful sunrise. Also, where am I? Hey, we're doing pretty good. We got a nice amount of people coming in. Our staff seems to be doing really well. So let's go ahead and get back to work on our habitat. Now, obviously this looks really nice, but the barrier building tool is not like this. So instead what you have to do is you have to line it up manually. What I do here is I will build obviously the wall first exactly where I want it. And then I will build along it, making sure they intersect these with the wall ever so gently just so it looks so it can be as straight as possible. It's not going to be perfectly straight. Unfortunately, that's just not really an option with the way the building tools work here, but it is the closest I can get it and it looks much better. Now with the hedge, really the only way for guests to see the animal is in fact to go into the enclosure, but that's fine because that was what we were planning to do anyway. So now when we delete the wall, Bam! Almost perfectly square, and it looks so much better than just kind of haphazardly throwing them around. Which is not to say, like, that doesn't look nice, because it does in certain situations. It just doesn't look nice with what I'm trying to do here. Alright, so let's go ahead and get some of our utensils in. So there's a couple things we need. The first thing is we're actually going to need a staff entrance. Now, I don't want this to be like on the main part, so I'm actually going to go over here to paths, go ahead to staff path, and see if I can throw down a grid. Yes, I can. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to build it around like this, and then go ahead and just make the staff entrance with one of these wooden habitat gates right there. Now, it does mess a little bit with it, but if you line it up right, there's a couple ways you can do it. I personally prefer to like do it in such a way that my previous build isn't messed with so now the staff can get in which makes this a legal habitat we're gonna go ahead and call this the indian peafowl and next what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna come around here to the front and we're going to install our we're gonna go ahead and install our wooden guest gate so what you do is you actually line it up with this and this usually happens where it doesn't like want to line up neatly but you can make it line up neatly. The other thing we could try is do it over here. Oh, it just does not want to do it. Uh, what if we take out the path really quick? Eh. Yeah. Take out the path really quick, go back to barriers, go back to the guest gate, and now she lines up well. There we go. So if we go back, then we could go back to path, align to grid, snap. Oh, you're not going to let us do it, are you? Ah, darn. You're going to be a spicy one. And now what we're going to do is we're actually going to make this really big. Then put this out like this and make like a little observation platform. And we'll go ahead and make that a little bigger. And then that means that for our key foul, they have all of this space back here where they don't have to interact with guests. Now we are going to put a couple things over here to make them want to interact with guests, a couple of enrichment items. But their actual food, water, and shelter is going to be back here so that when they come to, you know, take care of themselves, they don't actually need to stress too much about, you know, the guests. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll go ahead and start with animals. Now, let's go ahead and double check what the Zoopedia says about social. We need to have four individuals in order for this to be a healthy social group. However, there can only be four males in a social group. And honestly, I think I'm going to go ahead and start with a nice, healthy three male, one female. I think that's going to work out really well. So let's go ahead and see what's available for us for cash. Okay, just this one female. I might want to hold off. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and hold off and see if they add some more peafowl. Uh, and while we do that, I'm going to go ahead and get their exhibit set up for them. So the first thing we're going to have to do is we have to make sure there's a trash can in here because otherwise our guests will just litter all over the exhibit, which is not great. Uh, we're also going to go ahead and put a donation box right here. Let's go ahead and put bin pension security. There we go. Go over to bins. And let's see, we're using the East Asia. So I don't know which one. I like this red one more. I like the, the classy red style for the East Asian. We're going to go ahead and put this here and here. Stop them from throwing trash into our exhibit. How dare they? And now we're going to go over down here to media devices and education. 
we're gonna actually use two of these the meat the the education stands because they're really handy and we're also going to put down a an educational speaker now the educational speakers are really nice because you basically broadcast info about a specific animal now we can't set it until again we get our peafowl in here but until the time being yeah this is basically set up for our guest and we are going to go ahead and go back to animal trading there we go we've got some more cash listings we can go two and two two and two is not too bad okay so let's see, Our, we have to take the two females we get, but fortunately this one's got a nice longevity on her and a nice size. And you have to take the two you get. Now let's go ahead and be kind of choosy with our males. Now we don't want something with low immunity because that's going to increase the chances of them getting sick. So we're going to go ahead and grab this male and this male who is especially fertile, which is nice. So now we're going to go to an animal storage, but instead of tossing them in the exhibit, what we actually have to do is we have to click send to zoo but then put them in a quarantine because otherwise they can bring illnesses into the zoo and spread them throughout the exhibit. So now if we go over here and look, one of our keepers will have a runoff to trade area and they will then move all of our peafowl over here to quarantine. Look, there it is. There's some of our peafowl. So they're going to go ahead and bring them in here to quarantine so that they, we can make sure they're healthy. We're actually going to go over here into maintenance. And we're going to make sure the mechanic comes by every month because otherwise they can damage the walls. The vet, we're going to change to three months so they don't get sick. And the keepers default on every month because they have to make sure there's food. Now, I am going to get started on getting some of their other items in. So let's go ahead into Habitat and go ahead to... We're going to do two things. We're going to go here and we're going to go into... Go down here and we're going to find Indian Peafowl. Because this will lock everything to the Indian peafowl. And the other thing we're going to do is we're going to scroll all the way back up. And we're going to go to theme and we're going to go to East Asia. Ooh, this one's just messed up. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and put in the, hab the shelter. Oh, that's huge. These are huge. That's good though. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead put this in oh, I don't know maybe we could put this one in I actually kind of like this one I think this one is really nice yeah so we're gonna have to put this one sideways but okay we're gonna go ahead and do it so it's facing away from the crowds go ahead and make sure we can... oh good our quarantine is done once they're all done we can bring them all in so we're going to go ahead and do that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this. We're going to go back. And we're going to go to back up to species. And we're going to go back down to Indian peafowl. And make sure that we get our bedding. Let's go ahead with straw. Straw is a nice, like, unilateral bedding. Now, the reason we do this is because every animal needs to have a certain amount of hard shelter per animal, uh, which is just to protect them from the elements. You know, this might be the grassland, which is a environment they are certainly capable of living in, but we want to make sure that they're the healthiest they can be. So if we go down here, we can select all these animals. We're going to move them, and we're actually going to send them to their new habitat. So right now, they're in the process of doing that. And we are going to double check and make sure that the wall is high enough. Over 4.13 feet. And now if I check, yep, it's over 6. So we're good. Look, here comes our first one. <gasps> Look at that. Look at our male. He's so pretty. Oh, right on top of him too. Oh dear. Hello, you two. Are you going to demerge at any point today? Okay. So let's go ahead and check on the terrain. They have hard shelter and they like the way this is set up. So now what we need to do is we need to make sure they have access to food and water and access to enricher. So for food and water, it's very simple. We're just going to come over here, go into food and water, and we're going to give them two large food bowls. That way they have access to them. I'm going to put one back here. Back here. Look, look. Oh, he did it. He's through the spread. Oh, it's beautiful. We're going to go ahead and put the food bowl here. 
And we're gonna go ahead and put another one out here so that you guests can see them eating, but not interact with them. Again, I'm just trying to minimize the amount of stress on my lovely peacocks. And the other thing we're gonna do with a water pipe, I just prefer the water pipe. I like to think the water's fresher. So we're gonna go ahead and put one right here and then we're gonna go ahead and tuck one back here so that they don't have to worry about being spotted while they're drinking. Now we're actually gonna go down here to the enrichment items because we want our peafowl to have super, like to be mentally stimulated and taken well care of. There's two kinds of enrichment. There's food enrichment and toy enrichment. So food enrichment is very well taken care of because of the forage feeder, which whenever the zookeepers come to feed them, they'll actually put some food in there. However, there's also toy enrichment. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put some herbs and markers back here to encourage them to come over by the guests. We're gonna go ahead and put a mirror mobile right here for them to play with because then they have like a reason to stay on guard. And in order to make sure they stay a little cool, we're gonna go ahead and put a sprinkler over here. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back here we're actually going to turn these on and make it such an Indian peafowl because, again, we want to increase education. Now, in this exhibit, we're also using one of the educational speakers. So we're going to go ahead and set it to Indian peafowl, and then we're going to go ahead and set the range because we don't want it to be too far outside of the habitat. So we're going to go ahead and increase the range to about here so that it covers the entire guest area. And that way, we go ahead and have a lot of enrichment for the... We have enrichment for the animals. And they'll do this. They'll just kind of wantonly wander. But they never leave, actually. They never leave the gate, which I think is really interesting. But yeah, look at look at our beautiful peacock. Let, look at him go. Oh, he is living his best life. He just walked over my peacock. How dare you? He's like, joke's on you. I'm walking all over you. So we have two males and two females, which is a healthy breeding group. Now we have to keep an eye on the number of males in the exhibit, which may mean that we may start to sell off trade or release some of the males as they get older. Peafowl are not actually endangered, so we do better to sell them than to release them. But even that, even so, we can still release them. Let's go ahead. Let's meet our. Let's go ahead and meet our peafowl. Though I didn't even see their names. So let's go over here to animals. So we have. Oh, we have a lovely la lady, Janavi. And then we have, who are you? Oh, Vinaya. Hello, Vinaya. And then we have Lakshay. Lakshay, okay. Hello. Oh, he's settling down for a nap. How cute. And then if we go over here, where is our other male? Where'd you go, buddy? There he is. He's tucked up here. Why are you staring at the wall, buddy? And you're Darsh. Hello, Darsh. Oh, you're looking for stuff to eat. Okay, make sure they're all up this stuff and check on their welfare. It's 100 across the board. Except for nutrition. I'm going to go ahead and actually set their nutrition to be a little bit higher. Because it doesn't hurt them to have a good quality. I'm going to go ahead with great with grade two quality because that way our keeper can make it efficiently but it's still better for the animals than the grade one yeah look at that we have this lovely habitat now the other thing i'm thinking we could do if we go over here i'm going to go ahead and turn on the light really quick oh that's right uh, the other thing we could do is we can actually put a webcam up in here if we go down to facilities we can actually go to habitat webcam and go ahead and add it right like that so now there we go. It's right side up now. Look, there's one of our lovely ladies. And these also increase our education. So now we're going to go ahead and go and hire some security guards. And now is actually a good time to get our work zone set up as well. Because we want to make sure that our, our employees are being efficient and making sure that nothing is being left out of place. So we're going to go ahead and actually hire a security guard right here. There we go. Good man. Now the thing about the security guards is they tend to be like, they tend to get bored very easily, I don't know why. So we only need like the one. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and the zoo and we're going to go to work zones. Now work zones are great because they allow you to like efficiently divide up staff. Because you know, while the zoo is small like this, it's fine for you to have one keeper doing everything. 
But as your zoo expands, you don't want to like risk a keeper who's normally working around the peacocks to have to run halfway across the zoo to work with like the elephants. So it's good to start out your work zone very small and very and start it off very early. Now we don't have to worry about someone working at the turnstiles, but we are going to select all of these buildings. Oops, I forgot to do two. And this in this habitat as well. And we're going to go ahead and call this the entrance. So now we have a work zone, but no one's assigned to it. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go down the list and make sure everybody is assigned to the entrance. Because that way, they all know where they're supposed to work. And as I expand, I can either choose to add the new habitat or exhibit or what have you to the entrance, or I can actually create a new work zone. I think I'm going to go ahead and actually take the moment right now to stop and do a little bit of decorative work. I'm going to put our walls around our little... So we'll call that staff village, just so, you know, it decreases the chance of the guests getting affected by it and also helps us, you know, navigate. I'm going to go ahead and put up the little garden that I set aside room for here. And I think I might actually put some vegetation in the peacock pen as well, just to kind of add to the decor. So, um, yeah, be back in a moment. You guys, you guys, look, we're about to have a baby. Look at him. Look how beautiful he is. Oh, does this mean... Ooh, your heads are um, clipping together there. Does that mean... Oh, she's pregnant! We're gonna get a baby! Oh, and we have... Oh, cool, we have a VIP. Hi, Cheryl. Let's go ahead and say hello. So we get 20 conservation credits for that, and it's also just nice to say hello. Uh, we can't do that to everybody, though. There's a limit of, like, five per day, I think. Anyway, let's get back to building our wall. No way. It's already... Time for the baby! Time for the baby! Okay, now... We're... Oh, you're flirting. You're flirting with another lady. We're gonna have two babies! We have one baby coming out now, another baby coming out later. She sits down, and then... Oh, hello! Hello, our little friend! Mahika! Oh, you're adorable! Two? You had two? Who are you? Hello! Naira! Oh! Darshan Vinaya had Mahika and Naira! Oh, look how beautiful you two are oh you two are gonna be lovely okay and i think i happen to catch i happen to catch you flirting with our other female jahavi yeah you can get, man you are getting it anyway i was working i'm i keep trying to work on it you guys incubate fast don't you okay who is Oh, let's go see. Let's go see. Oh, look at how lovely you are. Time for your checks. Are you going to have just the one? Two, you had two. Three? Oh my, you had quite a few chicks. Oh, we have so many new additions. We have to see. Okay, let's go ahead and see your kids. Special for your children. So we have Samira. Hello. And Ayan. Oh, look at you. Oh, you're going to be a yikes, so man. And then Anaya. Hello. Oh, so many. If, okay, if they get pregnant again, I'm going to go ahead and put, have the male start taking a um, contraceptive just so we don't, like, super overpopulate our pen. I've had that happen before in a couple of other zoos where you just, like, let the peacocks do their own thing and then they... Yeah, it's kind of a problem. Yeah, it just... It, 
it gets to be a bit much. Oh good, the inspector's here. Now the inspector will come through and make sure that everything's healthy and make sure we're doing it. We're probably not going to score very high on education. I don't know how to make education score really high. And there we go. We've got a nice little, like, nice little employee village sort of thing. It only sticks out right there. And you know what? Considering the alternative was to add, like, a whole other foot on the back side, that's not sort of the sort of thing I'm interested in. Okay, let's go ahead and see. Where is our... Oh, look! There's our inspector! Hi! Uh, ma'am, I think that guy's elbow is going through your neck. You okay, ma'am? <gasps> five stars! We got five stars on our PayPal! Let's go ahead over here and let's see what our inspection rating was. Our report. Okay. So we have two education and five cleanliness. That's, that's okay. Like... We can do things to up our education, but for the time being, this is working really well. And whoa, we've almost paid five grand. So I guess the peacocks were a good investment, am I right? So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create a nice little bamboo garden around our little buddy here. Having nice foliage actually helps increase like the the rating of your of your buildings. And having nice scenery is just generally really nice. It works out well. So what I'm doing is I'm actually just going to go ahead. I think I'm just going to use bamboo for the time being because I really like how it looks. And I like the idea of this being like a shaded, overgrown area. Until the sun comes out, I'm just going to keep leave this light on because otherwise it's too menace. Uh, here, however, I'm going to do something a little different. I'm actually going to go and get some of these other plants. I'm going to go ahead and put aloe vera here and here. And then on this side, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here to gardening and... Oh, topiary. That's fun. I am going to grab some, what would be nice, oh, I love the quarter lines, they're, they're very lovely. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and put a couple of these down. We can put some rocks in, ooh, some like lovely little, uh, unless if we go over to construction, we can actually go over here into props. And let's go ahead and see what kind of props we get for these things. Oh, we can go ahead and put some pen scissors, that would be. And now we can go back into nature, which is still set to Asia, go down into Tarzan. And I know, so we're not going to go with you. Hi, oh, you're lovely. So I'm going to put those there and there. Ooh, the azalea, I love azaleas. I'm going to go ahead and tuck this right there. And I'm actually going to put a small cordyceps down here as well. And bird's nest fern, ooh, these are nice. Let's see if we can get one that's like... Yeah, there we go. That way it's not clipping through the walls. I love the walls, but they're very just like... They're like, we don't actually exist. Oh, that's beautiful. I love that. So we've gotten you taken care of. Hmm. I know. Let's see if we can put like a little statue or something now. Let's go over to construction, get rid of the filters, and see if we can find like some statuary or something. Now, I do recall there being like... There was something we could do. I don't know, what if we said it's to East Asia? Hmm? Oh, there are actually. Oh, we could get... Oh, we can get... Oh, this is cool. So what if we put, like, one here, and then we put his mate over here? Look at that. Oh, that's cool. We can put up a panda shrine. If we get pandas, we're putting up a panda shrine near it. You can't you can't tell me what to do. So we go ahead and have that. And I think I'm gonna go ahead now and go back over to nature and let's find some like long bushes just to put along the peacock exhibit. The twin flowers? The twin flowers are quite nice. Now in order to create some variation, I'm actually gonna just kinda flip them back and forth. Because that way it doesn't look too, like, perfect and natural, you know? Perfect and unnatural, I should say. And then we're actually going to go then go grab some more of these corals and put those right along the gaps. Or at least before we run out of room. Oh, and we could probably grab some ferns. 
lady fern mm, those would cover it but what about an elephant ear maybe one of the birds or bird's nest Ooh, yeah let's go with the bird's nest and then over here let's go ahead and grab we could grab the aloe vera now we're gonna go with the twin flower let's keep it nice and safe because you know we have all the way here go ahead and go to there Where is the twin flower? Where did it go? Oh, uh, I'm recording. I shouldn't be whistling. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and flip you around. And then flip you around. And flip you around. And then flip you around. And now they actually have a short two flower, which is great because we have this just like run to a little bit. Run that. Okay. Man, we have a really nice just like little groove going here. I like all this shit. <laughs>